Okay, I think I'm ready to go. Hey there, everyone. Panapon sauce, man. We did it. So, all right, bananas. Everything. <laughs> Just words are flowing out of my mouth. It's kind of upsetting. So, it's vote time. Vote time and vote time. I think you can tell a little bit of what's gonna happen today because right now, it's the time to set all these up. And this is the first time we're officially... I'm making this viewable, this video, where, you know, we see how things get done, how the goose gets cooked. Uh, this will be visible at the same time to everyone in the general audience, and not just Patreon people exclusively. And because of that, I might take it a little bit slower today. Like, I might, you know, take the time to explain things more a little bit, put things more in, into context. Because last time, I just kind of threw it out. Like, it was, it was a regular video, I just put it out for everyone to see. And, you know, so, you know, so, so, so that everyone's kind of like on the same thing. For the last two years and something... Um, honestly, we're getting closer to three at this point, right? Uh, every game has been on... Every game I've been playing, other than all the Sonic, has been on a three-game cycle. There is the Royal Pick, there's the Public Vote, and then there's the Mystery Box. The Public... The Royal Vote is that, you know, if you are part of my Patreon and you opt in, you do have to opt in. doesn't cost anything to opt in more than your Patreon, but you have to tell me. Uh, I spin a wheel, you get chosen, and then you offer me three different games. There are rules and stuff. It's all on, on the Patreon itself. You can look for it with a post with a potato. But no, yeah. And then you're like, hey, Raukau, these are the three games. I might ask you some questions about the games if I don't know them very well. And then I choose one of them and I play it. This has led me to playing a lot of really weird things I either would have thought of or have not particularly would know about. Uh, this is what led me already, like the first time this happened is what led me to playing Half-Life 2, for example. This has been a lot of fun. And we're gonna do that right now. Uh, so I wanna give it a shuffle. It has been shuffled. All right, here we go. The wheel's been spun and the name will be taken. Someone's gonna be like, oh man, I'm being bothered by Rao Cow. I can't believe it. Theodore Landman. Okay, so this is one. ND, not on the Discord. I just gotta make sure of something real quick. All right, no biggie. So, Theo, Theodore, Theodore Landman. Get in touch with me. So, so you know, so when people are on a Discord, after I don't get any news for like two or three days, we just at them and it's very easy. You're not. So I got to make sure you get to me uh, if I don't get just an acknowledgement that, hey, you know, you know that you've been selected. I might send you a PM or something. That's, uh, there have been... I'm going to hunt you down. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do what I can to find you if you don't find me. But yeah, yeah, Theodore, it's you! You gotta give me three games as I gotta play one of them. Isn't that wild? Like, who would set up this chaotic system like that? Doesn't make any sense to me. It's Theodore Landman! So, yeah, that's right. You don't really know what's gonna come up next for a little bit. So normally you got a week to just, you know, tell me. I like to give a, a, a week, you know, just uh, so because if I don't get any news at all after a certain amount of time, I'm going to re-roll. That has happened exactly once. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope you get in touch. I'm looking forward to getting your list, hopefully. And so then we move to the bucket list. The bucket list is a list of... 450 something games that I want to play that is not accurate because some of these games are actually Part of a series of which I want to play more I have accepted that I will not have time to play all these games in my lifetime That's okay. So what I do is I'm gonna roll five games and then people on patreon will vote and I'm gonna play that game if a game does not win, but fares well, is in second place or third place, as you can see here, it has given advantage, by which I mean it has extra weight, so it is more likely to be hit on the wheel. 
BTW, uh, people on Patreon may notice that there is not going to be like a poll in the traditional sense. I've been using Patapon polls for a while. Um, because, you know, that's what they have. But I think I want to try an offside option again. I want to try ranked voting again. Uh, I remember we tried ranked voting before, and I still believe in the idea. But, you know, because we were voting between, like, 100 games or something, and people did not have an opinion on, like, all the games, and so, really, it kind of surfaced games that no one had opinions on. It was kind of strange. But I think we can make ranked voting work with five or six options. Uh, so you will have to go on the site... And, you know, you're going to have to rank the level, the games you want to play in the order that you would like to see them. I believe that it has been statistically shown that that is the most reliable way to determine what a popularity, like a majority of the popularity wants. So, like, the way it works is that, like, okay, go roll for five. And so, you know, the, the computer tabulates all the results. They're like, all right, I'm going to remove the last one. The last one's out of here. And then it looks at the math, it looks at the ranking of every every options, but then re-ranks them as if that game that was removed was never there. And it redoes everything and retabulates, then it knocks off the last place again. And kind of keeps doing that. And in general, it is a much more reliable way of determining what, you know, the majority actually wants. And I want to try it. And so we're trying that again. Last time I was wondering if the advantages was enough because like they rarely show up. But if you look at the wheel, like the wheel, the currently the advantage, the advantage the, do take up about a fifth of the wheel. So on average, we should be seeing one advantage every spin. I'm surprised we don't. Anyways, that's a lot of talking. You get it, rank. You know, you get it. it you can ask me questions if you're worried. Anyways, let's do the old shuffle. All right, five games. I don't know what we're getting. I don't know what we're getting into. Here's the first. Here's the one. Here's the first one we're gonna get. It's gonna be a video game probably you can play. Mega Man Legends 2. Whoa. So starting with a showstopper here, don't we? Mega Man Legends 2. Uh, I played Mega Man Legends not long ago, and I loved it. I enjoyed it, in spite of what some people <laughs> seem to think, because I didn't go all, like, super heavy on the on the, on the side games. But no, I thought Mega Man Legends was a joy to play. And I'm looking forward to playing the sequel. And I might, like, I don't know. I would consider Mega Man Legends 2 kind of a big, uh, a big monster. It's on PlayStation, right? Yeah, it was released for the PlayStation. Wow, I took the... No, I have it as 2000. What am I talking about? Okay, yeah, on a PlayStation. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of PlayStation. I don't know. This like it feels like my main console these days. Look at that. Kind of absolutely terrible box art, though. What the hell? I don't know anything about this game. I feel like I knew a little bit about Mega Man Legends the first go in. Le Mega Man Legends 2, I don't know anything about it. Uh, beyond that, it is a sequel to hit video game Mega Man Legend. So, I don't know what to expect. That is a really strong first contender. Like, honestly, like, like I'm saying, maybe starting with the showstopper here. I don't know, we'll see. There's a big variety of games in here, including Battletoads! <laughs> okay! So Battletoad is a classic of difficult video games. Uh, you know, if you're going to play a very hard NES game, Battletoad is probably the, the way to go. But let me sweeten the deal a little bit. It was always my intention to play Battletoad as a complete serial trilogy. So if Battletoad gets voted... I'm not just playing the Battletoad we all know and love on the NES. I'm also adding Battletoad for the Game Boy and Battletoads and Battle Maniacs for the Super Nintendo. Three in a, like, so you know how I, I played like the first three Metal Slugs in a trilogy? One after the other after the other? That is what I am proposing for Battletoad. You know what? I'm even going to do something silly here. I'm going to add an S. Battletoads. Yeah for three different console. 
I mean, I mean, I I think we could have a lot of fun there. Just something Battletoe, yeah. Uh, the, the NES game, game of my childhood. I love that game. It's a terrible game, but I love it. I've never played Game Boy and Super Nintendo, and I've always wanted to, and I'm just kind of putting it out there for me to consider, consider the consumption of, and I'm not gonna belabor on this. We all know what Battletoad is. Do we all, do we all know what Battletoad is? I don't know. I'll put a link to a long play or something, I guess. That's normally what I do. Anyways. Hey, I was thinking about this game. Hell is other demon. All right, I'm gonna fish out a trailer. So it's kind of funny because when I was thinking about an H game that that was released in May, Hell is other demons was a game I considered. However, it was released first on Apple products in April, which disqualified it to me. So you know what? There we go. I'm going to put you here with the other ones. Yeah, you're in actually an April release. I always try to go with the first date whenever possible. So, uh, you know, pretty mainline game, pretty well-known series. Hell is Other Demons, a lot less known, so let's look at a trailer. But I think that once you look at the style, um, I think it's already very clear why this is a game I would like to play. Look at this, this looks like fantastic. Super sweet, like, lo-fi, like, action game. This looks, like, just amazing. I know very little about it. Uh, Alex Zener has played this game, and it's one of those games where he started playing and I didn't watch because I knew I was going to play it one day. But just look at this, though. Doesn't this look fantastic? Oh, that looks so cool. Then Satan show. I guess that makes sense, considering the game's called Hell is Other Demons. Oh, the music is very low. Uh, if you couldn't hear well, that's my fault, maybe. But, oh, that looks so good. See, it says April right there. All right. And then you get a whole bunch of Nintendo thumbnails, which I guess makes sense. This game looks super rad. I want to play it. I definitely super want to play it. Does it does it fare against the other games that showed up? Maybe. I think I I think it has a chance. I think this looks fantastic. And the name is cool. You know, hell is other demon. Implying that you're not a demon? Maybe. Demon V Demon? That is quite violent indeed. Oh! Just barely that ten pointer there. Grapple dog! I feel like I added that really recently. So sometimes I'm suggested a game and I look at like a screenshot or something and I just add it I just add the game without really thinking and I don't know anything about them I feel like grapple dog is one such case. All right grapple dog um, Announcement trailer, I guess like what's Release date announcement trailer. I mean anyone is good, right? This one's a bit longer. All right, let's go for the slightly longer one grapple dog it's a dog that grapples. Uh, th those are not dogs. That's a bird and that's a bunny. Oh, but there's a dog there, though. That's a um, nice... Look, okay, look, at I'm digging the art style. Art style that looks like stickers. Oh, no, you're gonna get shaken. Fell right in the hole, you dog. Can't believe you did that, grapple dog. You just fell right in. Here we go, but that leads to a great video game adventure floating through it and stuff. And robot three eyes so it can see the forty. Okay, and apparently a jet set radio soundtrack. I'm into it. Okay, look at that. This is a video game. Wow. No, but I'm digging this though. Okay, okay, no yeah, I'm 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 digging this. This looks really fluid. This honestly looks like it could get somewhere. Like, it looks like it could get pretty intense. I mean, you got on on your HUD, you got the uh, paw print. Uh, big saw blade and arrows. Then you turn into a weird squishy ball. Then you just swing around, bounce everywhere. Yeah, that's right. It's just, I don't know. The music doesn't quite fit. I feel like the style, the visual style, but it fits the gameplay. I'm digging it. Does it play, though? Does it have a chance against the other games on offering? I don't know, but I'm digging this. 
I really like Love Isada. That looks like a whole lot of fun. Grapple. So look at that bear. You can jump on his head. Do you not want the opportunity to watch me jump on this bear's head? Wow, I can't believe they just spoil what happens while I'm jump on the bear's head, though. That's, you know what? They call that confidence. They are confident about the fact that, you know, you can interact with the animal. That where am I going with this? I don't know. One last game. Here we go, here we go. I don't know what's going to happen at all. Uh, that spin felt like it was a lot shorter. Oh boy. I didn't expect this to be a bloodbath with this little friend. Oh boy. So, how much does the current Patreon population, how much do the Patapon want me to finally finish Copy Kitty and play through hard mode? Copy Kitty is a series that I love. It is one of my favorite games of all time. You know, nothing major. It is a game that I, I feel like every year or so, every year, every two year, I would just play a little bit. Either there would be a new version I would play, or I would play like a new gameplay mode, but I was always just kind of like nudge at it and play some more of it. 2022, I think, is the first year yet for whom... No, I didn't play Copy Kitty last year either at all in 2021. It is now 2022. Is this when I play Copy Kitty and do the entirety of hard mode, including both Boki and Savant? Does it win versus Mega Man Legends too? Does it win against the Battletoad initial trilogy? I would love Hell is Other Demons to win. I don't know if it... But does it fly? Like, does an unknown... Like, Hell is Other Demons make it? Does Grapple Dog, in spite of being the cutest game on offer here, probably... Does it stand a chance? Oh, boy. This could be a bloodbath. Or this could be a complete wash. But even if it's a wash, I am absolutely unable to predict in, in what direction. I don't know what's going to happen. I am not able to predict what's going to happen with these five. This is kind of an amazing, absolutely ridiculous pull. And I'm sorry for everyone out there who has to vote and make decisions. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know. I guess this is a good test bed to see how rank voting works, I guess. Wowie zowie. Okay. Well, and we're not even done. There's a third thing we got to do. I'm going to file. I'm going to open. And it's called Wizard Cast a Spell. So, the third way that each of my games get chosen, because they are chosen on a three-way cycle, is that I just choose one. It's the mystery box. No one knows what it is until I play it. And it's a game that I flat out choose. I let myself just outright choose a game. Every three game, I just choose it. That's fine. However, to make it fun... At some point, as part of the regular poll, I had these little limited mysteries, like limited boxes where, you know, oh, but will you, you know, you could vote, choose these games, or you can choose random wackiness that you can't predict, except those would always win, like just always win, so now they're just their own thing. So yeah, it's just like a little something to guide me, like, yeah, I'm going to choose the game, but to make it fun, let's choose a game amongst a certain type, or like with a certain something that, um an attribute to it, you know, or like, like, like just a constraint on my choice. God, because, you know, to me, it, it guides my choices a little bit because, you know, I have a lot of games to choose from. And um, also, it makes it fun because, you know, it's like you get to try and uh, figure it out. Like, it gives you something to um, anticipate. Um, so, here's one thing, though. 
I know I'm the only human that cares about this, but Rakugaki skipped this whole process and I feel weird about it. So if I get an input that I can attribute to Rakugaki, I'm going to bank it, consider Rakugaki cleared, and then roll again. If not, we'll just, get, we'll just keep going. We'll just take it and we'll do that next time. All right, here we go. Let's choose a thing. I don't know what it's going to be. It's hopefully good. Uh, and it's... Okay, well, that does not qualify for a Rakugaki Mario, I'm pretty sure. But, AGDQ, a whole lot of games were played. I'm going to play one of the games that were featured. Let's look at the game list together. Hey. Hey. Guess who has the Q binded to stop and start recording? And guess who just typed AGDQ 2020 in Google to open up the schedule page? I am lucky that Hill is Other Demons and Gravel Dog don't have a Q with the name. Wow. That, okay. Well, I'm, going to, I'm not going to repeat the whole thing that I said to nobody. But what I will say is look, it's very easy to find on Google. Look at the game list. And cry as you realize how little, just how little it uh, limits the game choice. How little it narrows things down. But here we go. Get in charge. Get, give me my games. Vote and wait. These are the three actions that different people can do. Video games, sometimes they exist, sometimes they're not. They're in a quantum state. That's what I'm saying now. That was a terrible jingle.